tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you the crop tool, the new feature of Illustrator CC 2017.1. Right, the first thing to do, just got an image here, just go up to crop image. And once you've done that you can move that around and crop just that area. So you can just see obviously everything outside is going to be lost, removed, and of course you could do this in Photoshop before but and masking etc but now it's just a nice little tool feature that you can just decide just that area I want so click apply and that's it it's gone really nice all gone and of course you can just duplicate it and then maybe crop those as well now unfortunately there's no crop but leave the original image so of course what you need to do hold down alt option and then just create another one then go to crop image so you can just crop that image say so on that part apply and then go over this one and crop image and just go down to there just move that around okay apply now a couple other things as well so that's the basics of the crop the crop tool so once you've actually got that but what you can do of course crop image you can actually move it around as you move it around you notice up on the top just there just over here, and you actually see the values changing. But you can also modify them just, just there. You can just move them up and around, down. And of course, when it reaches a certain point, it just won't go any further. It doesn't wrap around or anything, it just basically stops. So you just have to, as far it doesn't pop up and say, you can't move any further, it just stops. And you can change the width in the way. And you can obviously constrain the strain width and height proportion and all that sort of stuff. Hold down the shift as well, you can. So you can just hold shift down and that will constrain it as well, which is quite nice. So just if you want that sort of feature. Now, of course, you release the shift and then it just basically just goes around and then just crops normally. Now, undo. There's also another feature for the crop. And I'm just going to go crop image. And it's just over here. So what you can do, PPI, you can set the resolution. Now you can make it high, medium or screen. Personally, really, on this screen, I can't see the difference. <laughs> so, but obviously, it's going to be important when you come to printing. But for if you're not really interested in that side of things, it doesn't particularly matter. I use Illustrator mainly for like my website design and things. So, when it comes to uh, that, it's not such a. But anyway, there is that feature over there for the resolution as well. So you can just set it. Go to seventy-two, perfectly fine. For most cases. And that's that. Now, it does actually come with a slightly useful or unusual feature, I would say. You can actually crop image and you can go over to this PPI and you can set it to, obviously not 72, you can set it to, and I'm gonna go for five or four, four or five, doesn't matter. So I'm gonna go for four and apply. And then when you actually see the result, the result is obviously very blocky. <laughs> it's an interesting way of doing it, creating a very sort of mosaic-like image. A uh, crop image again, and go here, and say set it to one. Now probably go, <laughs> probably won't work after setting it to one. Doesn't actually do it while you're actually doing it. It just still keeps the same quality of image just there. So you you can only see it once you actually click apply, and it will go result apply, and you get this lovely block square block of the image okay maybe not much use for some people but of course what you can do then is you can image trace that or just image trace that obviously in this case it's going to be black because i go for default black and white but color and you can create some very abstract designs just by using these settings here maybe advanced as well pass and so on but maybe of not much use but i think it's quite an interesting possibility with the crop tool so that's it the crop tool gives a great way of cropping images and you can change very useful hope you found this of interest thank you much